Where Does Love Come From? by John Britton. Oh, by the way, I think I saw love yesterday. I was skipping along the pavement when it jumped right out in front of me. It was wearing a stripy red jumper and it had a copy of the Times under its arm. But then, a while ago, I was flying a huge shiny silver aeroplane when love suddenly loomed up in front of me. It looked like a gigantic fluffy bird covered in sparkly golden glitter. My mum told me that love only exists in the movies, so I went to see a James Bond film. And there was certainly lots of kissing and the baddie loved gold a lot, but I wasn't sure if there was any real love. Not really. So, somewhere in my pocket is a tiny piece of fluff. If scientists examined it under the microscope, they would see atoms and molecules, as well as the endless darkness of eternity. If I could travel through that universe for 100 million miles, I reckon I would eventually see a tiny pinprick of white light. Maybe that is where love comes from. But then again, and thinking very hard about it, Maybe love is just inside us. Maybe it's something that lies all curled up like a sleeping hamster until we feel something really, really amazing, which makes love jump up all of a sudden. And we get this gobsmacking feeling that never, ever goes away. Mind you, I could be completely wrong, of course. Anyway... I've got to go now because my mum's calling me in for tea. I'll just have to be honest and say that I'm not absolutely sure where love comes from. But take it from me. If you travel the length of the universe, meet a fluffy bird who's wearing a stripy red jumper and sitting on a curled up golden hamster, you're probably in love. Bye for now. <laughs>